Hey, what's going on, guys? I'm going to talk to you today about how the we need to pray for the U.S. soldiers in Afghanistan right now. The U.S. soldier, the, uh, the United U.S. military has deployed 3,000 troops to Kabul, Afghanistan, to evacuate all non-essential um, embassy personnel um, at the U.S. embassy. Um, as, according to, as far as I know, according to news sources, the U.S. ambassador to Afghanistan is still there, um, but. We don't know for how long, as far as I know, uh, according to the news sources, because, um, and then the Pentagon has not declared this a combat mission, and uh, even ABC News, which is typically very liberal, has criticized President Biden on a lot of the moves here, not making the Pentagon declare this a combat mission, and he could do that as commander-in-chief, and the ABC News has reported that the Taliban has taken over 17 of the 34 provincial capitals in Afghanistan in just a month. And the Taliban has has control of the majority of Afghanistan. Thank goodness they don't have control of Kabul right now. But the but President Biden is still planning withdrawing all U.S. troops from Afghanistan by September 11th, and he thinks the Afghan National Army is equipped to handle the Taliban by themselves. I firmly don't believe he's wrong. And President Donald Trump did a lot of the same things as well when he was president. If if the U.S. military leaves Afghanistan completely, I firmly believe Afghanistan is going to collapse. It's going to remain back in Taliban hands, and it's going to harbor a lot of um, terrorists. And Afghanistan is on the border with Iran as well. And at the Taliban and Iran could form some sort of alliance in that situation, I firmly believe. Because um, Iran did harbor al-Qaeda and Taliban fighters. Um, when they fled Afghanistan, when the Northern Alliance and the U.S. military defeated um, the Taliban uh, in the 2000s. So, um, this is a bad move. It was a bad move by Biden, and I firmly believe it was a bad move by Trump. But keeps keep the personnel that have been deployed to Afghanistan to evacuate uh, personnel at the embassy. Please keep them and their, and their families in your prayers. So, everybody's doing well. Take care. God bless them. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.